Hey, um, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, damn, it feels good to be a Texan. Man, how about them Texans, man? How about them Texans? They took care of business against those, um, those New England Patriots. Against the Patriots of New England. Man, 41-21. Man, you know what? This is... This is a long time coming, man, because I remember back in the days where those Patriots used to just smash on my Texans no matter what we tried to do. And it felt so doggone good to finally exact some type of revenge on them, okay? I know it can't make up for all the times they beat us and broke our hearts, but God dog it, it felt good to give a nice <laughs> pounding on the Patriots. I don't hate the Patriots, but when you're going up against the Texans or the Seahawks, you are the enemy, even though I love the enemy, you are the... I'm acting like, oh, girl, I'm acting like um, Dorothy Boyd on Jerry Maguire. You remember she said, uh, I've learned that men are the enemy, but I love the enemy and all that stuff. But anyways, I watch a lot of movies. You know that because you listen to the podcast. But, um, hey, shout out to my brother, Devon. Hey, man, he used to be a, a Patriots fan. Now he a, a Texans fan, man. And I know it was this was kind of bittersweet you know you watching the texans just smash your former team but it's one of those things hey if you ever ask god hey did you make the right decision well guess what this right here confirms it this certifies it all right you know but anyways yeah he's a texan fan for sure but anyways yeah man they was clicking on all cylinders like D'Amico ryan it starts from D'Amico ryan's the coaching. Well, also, I'm going to give a shout out Nick Casario, foreman. He used to work with the New England Patriots and stuff with that staff. I know this meant a lot to him. So if, you know, he could tell them, hey, yeah, what? What you got to say now? What you got to say now? You know what I'm saying? Just a little friendly, you know, back and forth smack talk. But um, shout out to D'Amico Ryans, who coached a hell of a game. He's been doing a phenomenal job this year. Love D'Amico, man. That defense, them Texans. Every time I turn up on defense, Will Anderson Jr. doing the doggone thing like he's supposed to. Like we expected when the Texans drafted him on draft night. Um, C.J. Stroud was just C.J. Stroud. And that's, that's what he was doing. C.J. Stroud was doing C.J. Stroud type things. And you know what those type of things are, people. You know that. And Stephon Diggs, hey, I know you was happy to get in zone, bro, but we don't need the extra penalties. We don't need that extra stuff. But I get it. I get it. You know, they probably, Patriots defenders was probably chirping at you because you come, you know, you was just playing in Buffalo and they was probably talking that talk. You probably got some rivalries, some little in-between battles with those players. Friendly, competitive battles, but it's all good. You know, Tank Dell was Tank Dellin. What can I say? You know what I'm saying? And back to Stefan Diggs. Yeah, yo, yo, so Buffalo. Yeah. Still y'all still don't Josh Allen still don't need a receiver like a um Stefan Diggs, right? Yeah, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Appreciate that. But it, but he wasn't trash in Buffalo though. But these doggone Texans, man, was just doing Houston Texans type things, man. Let me see. CJ Stroud. In case you don't know what C what it means when I say C.J. Stroud was just doing C.J. Stroud type things. Oh man, just, you know he just, you know he just had 192 yards, three touchdowns. Yeah, three touchdowns. Oh, you want to bring up he had a pick? Okay, whatever. Pick didn't cost us the game. Whatever. When you're being aggressive in life, you're gonna make some mistakes. If you're not making mistakes, you're not being smartly aggressive. Three touchdowns, one interception. All right. Oh, shout out to Damian Pierce. I guess this was perfect for Damian Pierce to come back. In the, in the month of October, in Halloween. Shoot, man, it's like Damian Pierce was like Damian from The Omen or something. Ha, he, 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 ho. I did a, a highlight video of that a couple years ago on his rookie year, so it's good to see him back. Check that out, too. But um, let me see. Joe Mixon back. Go get him, Joe. Joe Mixon, 13 carries, 102 yards, one touchdown. That's 7.8 yards a carry. Damian Pierce, eight carries, 76 yards. That's 9.5 yards per carry and a touchdown. I love that because it's like these two was competing with each other. I like that. I love it, man. Love it, man. Kind of reminds me. Yeah, let me see. Kind of reminds me like a Marcus. They can be like a Marcus Allen, Bo Jackson type thing, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? So that was real cool, man. Or te as a Texan fan, y'all remember? Well, um, we had Aaron Foster and Ben Tate. Okay, unfortunately, Ben Tape kept getting hurt and stuff. They both couldn't stay healthy at the same time, but there were games where those, both, both of them was running. Oh, man, whenever one came out the game, he was mad. He was upset because he was like, dang, now he's about to get these extra yards and might get to the end zone. They were just competitive like that. The few games they was able to play healthy with one another. So hopefully uh, 
we can, we can have Joe Mixon and Damian Pierce with a good, clean bill of health so those Texans can continue to do to do Houston Texans type things. All right. But as I'm saying that, once again, um, if your if your neighbor didn't hear you, look at your neighbor again. If you looked at your right neighbor, this time look at your left neighbor. If you was looking at your left neighbor earlier, this time look at your right neighbor. Okay. Wherever your neighbors are, diagonally, front, back, side to side, up, down, whatever, just say, hey man, damn it feels good to be a Texan. You gotta look them in the eye and say, damn it feels good to be a Texan. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, man, the Texans go up to five and one. I'm not sure who won the Titans and um, who the Titans played. The Titans and Colts game, but I'm hoping for a tie. Cross, fingers crossed. Let's hope they tie. But anyways, Houston Texans did their doggone thing, man. You know, so it it's always good, man. It's always good when the Texans do their thing. Don't you, you, you? The world is a better place when the Houston Texans are winning, in case you don't realize that. And let me tell you something. Imagine how great this world would be, not just this country, how even greater this world would be. When the, Houston, when the Houston Texans win a Super Bowl. Hey, don't knock it till you try. Don't Now, when the Texans win the Super Bowl and the world is not greater, then you can tell me, T, hey, bro, you was wrong. The world is not better. The Texans won the Super Bowl. The world is not better. Well, the world is better for Texans fans because <laughs> they won the Super Bowl. But like I say, damn, it feels good to be a Texan. Thank you all for tuning in for this episode of Damn, It Feels Good to Be a Texan. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Student of the Game podcast. Comment in the section below. Let me hit in the comment section below. Let me know what were your thoughts on the Texans versus the Patriots game. Did you think the Patriots had a chance? I didn't think the Patri- I, I didn't think that was gonna get blown out. I thought it was gonna be more competitive. And it was when it was like 14 to 7, but then the Texans just <laughs> left them in the dust. But share your thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's free of charge. Student of the Game podcast. Peace out.